Finally, let's talk about the head of infrastructure development in the presidency, Dr. Hussein Sorama Khopa, saying government has to fast track its infrastructure drive for the sake of its credibility. He was speaking, of course, at this second sustainable infrastructure development symposium, which kicked off today fully. That's in the Sentin Convention Center in Johannesburg. Devin Morgan, you are there. Good afternoon. What's been happening today? Yeah, well, it's uh, the uh, second uh, Sustainable Infrastructure Development Symposium uh, there, Braden. Remember, we had the inaugural one last year. And in very simple terms, what happens here is that government takes these projects, presents them to an audience of investors and financiers, and, and really the idea is to actually get them to uh, support this or go ahead with that financing. And it's a long process, uh, but we, 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 we come up with those numbers, which really... Uh, you know, the big numbers that you see, 595 billion, I think, is recorded worth of projects for this particular year that will, uh, will be sort of tabled uh, to the finances. means very little if the visibility isn't there, if you don't see these things taking place or showing up in the different municipalities. It's at that point where I want to bring in the uh, 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 former head of the National Planning Commission, uh, Miriam Altman. She's a professor at the University of Johannesburg as well. Miriam, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. The president today in his address said that, look, he understands that when it comes to visibility, a lot of people complain about seeing the effects of the investment and the infrastructure projects being not as visible as we want to. And I guess it's at that municipality level. That's where people want to see this. Why is it so poor sometimes? Well, the first thing the first thing to realize is that um, is that it's both an issue of bulk infrastructure that's sometimes invisible, and and also the munis municipal delivery. Um, you know, I, I've been working on the national infrastructure plan with uh, Infrastructure South Africa, and what we're trying to elevate is the challenge uh, of we, we've lost a lot of human and professional capacity in the state over the past decade. In my view, that's the big binding constraint. That's the number one reason why we're not making the kind of progress we would like to see. And that's very important, though, because, as I said, we've heard some numbers um, and some projects that uh, the Public Works Minister spoke about. What is it? Uh, the dams that are being built in KZN. We've got bridges in the Eastern Cape. We've got ports near Sultana Bay. That's coming up. We can't see them. But again, the question comes whether or not the state has the competency enough to meet up with the private sector. And I suppose that's where it really counts, doesn't it? Are we, are we getting the instant in, in, in terms of state capacity, or are we still losing out? Well, you know, the issue is step by step we've got to rebuild that capacity. That capacity used to be in place, and unfortunately over the past decade it was undermined for reasons we well know. Um, and, and now, it, you know, it's harder to build than it is to break down, as we, as we know. You know, and um, and so step by step, what we're trying to do is to drive the process of rebuilding that capacity, getting rules in place, and also looking at how to strengthen uh, private par partnerships between the public and the private sector. There's no doubt that that is going to have to be an essential part of it. What I should also say is, when you say you don't see it, do you mean that you don't see it or nobody sees it? Because some stuff does get built, some stuff does get delivered. Not everything does. Um, what I think we need to see is more spending, but also we need to see better value for money. So we need to see that when money does get spent, that it does give life to the infrastructure that it was meant to create and the use value that it was meant to create. And that's a big focus uh, of the current period as well. No, I mean, I guess when I talk about visibility, if you look at some of the stats, for example, the unemployment rate, um, and if you look at growth, one would imagine that when the president says infrastructure will help us get our state, our hospitals up, our buildings up, our roads up, but at the same time, it will also employ people. It kind of doesn't help on a very superficial level when you see the unemployment rate going up, despite the fact that we've been on this infrastructure drive for quite some time, and that's what I mean by visibility. At what point in time do we align this? Well, the construction sector is not going to sort out the unemployment problem. The, the issue is, is that we could have a bigger construction sector. The National Infrastructure Plan does focus on that as well. We could have more supplying industries as well. Um, and we could even be exporting the service, actually. We used to, we, we used to do that. Now, but the jobs, the jobs problem right now, look, it's a long-standing issue. We've had high unemployment since the 1970s, is, is the reality. It's gotten worse under COVID and not better uh, because COVID attacks where most jobs are. Most people work in services, so hospitality, restaurants, 
retail, that kind of thing. And COVID directly attacks those because it's where face-to-face -face, um, activities happen. That's where most people work, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but in COVID, yes, unfortunately. So we have seen those numbers ratchet up quite badly. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Professor, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. We've got a few hours left, Pradhi, and, uh, and what happens over the next few hours is that you have these little panel sessions where we talk about investment in different areas, the green economy, uh, municipalities, for example, the logistics uh, sector. Uh, and that will unfold over the next two or three hours before the, uh, the uh, conference closes. But again, we've got to intensify, we've got to speed up um, what is happening as far as the, uh, the infrastructure drive is concerned, and maybe, just maybe, we might get a dent into unemployment, brother.